So, no, I, I wouldn't say I have a passion for HR. Welcome back to Human Resources for the People. It's a human capital revolution. Today, answering Ask HR questions because I'm banned part 150 or something like that. Uh, we're going to be talking about the new sick pay law out of California, uh, COBRA coverage in South Carolina, and finally, what unpaid job training in California again. So let's go to California with respect to the new California sick pay law. This person uh, works in California. Can an employer based in Illinois take away vacation time to implement the new sick pay for California employees? Basically, employees in Illinois would get 80 hours of vacation with no sick time, and in California employees get 40 hours of vacation plus 40 hours of sick time. I work from home in California and feel like this is somehow unfair. I just want to know if if anyone knows if this is legal. And, you know, what this is what typically happens with these sick times because most employers provide a sufficient amount of vacation and specifically a sufficient amount of vacation for uh for, for to take sick time. So what most employers do is then either uh, deli- uh, turn all of their sick t- or all their vacation time into sick time, where you don't have to really give a notice and you don't have to make plans, um, and and it just gets all encompassed. And, and this is sort of how the market works when uh, when states put into place these laws. Ultimately, it just takes away the vacation time. It doesn't really. Uh, build new time because most employees in the United States are getting vacation. It really doesn't change anything. It changes the composition and when someone can take it. And you'll see this over and over again. This is pretty standard. I know that as soon as uh, several other states had sick leave, you started seeing companies, again, uh, begin to take from vacation and then just give it to sick and then consider it that way. And so, yes, it's absolutely legal. And, you know, it's probably the best practice when you realize that these these this company has to manage over multiple areas. I mean, I, I feel sorry for them that they have to operate in Illinois and in California because the myriad of laws, especially depending on where you work from in, at home in California, can be an absolute mess. And so, uh, yeah, it is absolutely legal to, you know, convert to sick time. And this is how most people do it. The next one from South Carolina, they were let go from the job at the end of the year last year. It is now January and they haven't received a COBRA notice via mail, email, or any other information. Uh, and the company has up to date information, a large company with thousands of employees. They are changing healthcare at the beginning of the, the year. And so what is the legally uh, mandated amount of time my company has to provide me with a COBRA according to the rules? And so, so COBRA for clarity is the Consolidated Omnibus uh, Budget Reconciliation Act, which is where employers are generally required to provide COBRA paperwork to employees and their qualified beneficiaries within specific timeframes. And so the typical deadlines are an initial notice within 90, uh, employers must provide an initial notice about COBRA rights to employees and their dependents within 90 days of the start of the plan. Then when there's a qualifying event, such as termination or employment or a reduction in hours, the employer has 14 days to notify the plan administrator. Then the plan administrator has 14 days to notify qualified beneficiaries of their COBRA rights. From there, qualified beneficiaries have 60 days to elect COBRA coverage after receiving the COBRA election notice. After that, qualified beneficiaries must make the initial premium payment within 45 days of electing COBRA coverage. And so, I mean, you know, personally speaking, I don't worry too much about COBRA because it's always retroactive. Uh, it goes into effect immediately after termination and, you know, you can go back away. So you, it goes into effect immediately and you can pay backwards. And so if you have an event that's uh, covered, you know, you just pay the fee and then you're ready to go. Now, I'll warn you that COBRA fees are extremely expensive and most people would not, um, it, you know, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't cover. Beyond that, healthcare.gov, which he cites here, uh, would start immediately because it's a qualifying life event. But uh, so not it wouldn't be February 1st. Finally, we go to California with unpaid job trainings. Just started working at a home health agency, which I think is very pretty notorious for bad uh, work uh, environments. Uh, they The position requires them to drive directly to the patient's home to provide care, and uh, they have to finish this online training by 1-5. It goes over fire safety, HIPAA, safety and compliance, infection control, etc. It's five total hours. Um, 
And when he was asked if he should clock in, when he, you shouldn't ask, but when he clock in to, while working on it, they said no because it's self-paced training. Uh, and it says it contradicts the having a due date of the 5th. And he says, should I be getting paid? I just started this job. I don't really want to want to put up a stink because I'm grateful. Uh, and that he's been taken advantage. Yes, absolutely. You should be paid for it. Uh, and, and, you know, you could file a complaint with, uh, the state of California if you felt that it was necessary, but rocking the boat does have some risks. So you just have to be mindful of those risks, uh, when you make these decisions, because, uh, qu quite frankly, this could, this could ultimately come as a shock to your job. Now that said, retaliation is of course illegal, uh, but that doesn't mean that companies don't find a way to get around it. So let me know what you think about this uh, episode this week. You know, what do you think about the sick leave? You know, sick leave, I think, is quite interesting, specifically surrounding what the states have been doing and how businesses have been responding to it. Is it right? What do you think? Leave a comment down below, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.